friends, it's me and today we're here at Pin HQ in Ocoee, Florida. We're here to take a look at some pin folio books so we can store some of our pins and we have tons of them. And we're here to look at some Disney pins and other pins that this store may have. So come along with us and let's go check the store out for the first time. They have tons and tons of pins, you guys. Check these pins out. If you're looking for a specific pin, I bet you they have it. These are probably the least expensive pins they have because these pins right here are $10. $10 for these pins. These pins are $8. These pins are the ones that I think a lot of them are from the mystery box packs. So these are behind the glass and these are only $8. I see this one here that I am thinking of getting, which is Sleeping Beauty in 1959. Wow, look at that pin. $20 for this Walt Disney pin. Where does this come from? Character Crest Collection. And some of you know that I collect Walt Disney pins. Oh, look at that aerial pin. This one's real interesting. This one here is a piece of Disney history and it's a pin and it's $60 and it's the Emporium, Emporium Disneyland. There is a little piece of material or something from the Emporium in that little dome. Here's a pin from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and that's $70. Look at that pin, Cinderella and the Coach. That pin is, I don't even know how much that pin is. There's no price. Oh, that might not be a good sign. That might be an expensive pin. And here are the profile pins. Profile pins are very, very popular. There's Maleficent, 1959. I love this one here with Mickey and the firefighter, at the fire department at Disneyland. I love that. And they're shaking hands. Great job, you guys. At least that's what I think Mickey's saying to the firefighter. 100 years of dreams. This is, uh, I love this pin. It's Walt Disney's birth, which is December 5th, 1901. And you can see a baby picture of Walt, but it changes to the older Walt. Wow, can you see that? That is awesome. And if this pin is $15, it's going to come home with me today. The 100th anniversary pins. Here's King Triton and Ariel. King Triton is $55 and Ariel is $150. Marie is $200. The Blue Fairy, $70. Briar Rose is $90. So these pins right here are very, very cool. They are frozen, but look at them. Look at the artwork on the frozen pins. They are $50 each. Here's a $60 Madam Mim pin. I collect Madam Mim, but I don't think I'd pay $60 for that pin. And here's Phineas and Ferb, $70. Here's the prettiest Cinderella pin. I think it's saying that it is $100. She's in her pink dress. $75 for the D23 pin. And it has Flora, Fauna, and Mary Weather on it. What a cool pin. And here are all the other pins that they have from D23. 15 fantastic years. Employee Center, $150 for the Briar Rose pin. Look how gorgeous. They also have Wendy, Cinderella, Jasmine. Here are the Epcot poster pins for $120. $150. $150 for the Splash Mountain pin. Here's a lounge fly pin. Look at this pin. You guys, the mice. Gus and Jack and Susie. And I don't know the name of the other mouse. But look at this, very cute. 
Here's Stitch. Look how cute Stitch is. I don't know how much this is. Let me see. This looks like a, I don't know, a Halloween pin? It doesn't have the price on it. But it's really cute. I like this. It's always reading to everybody. Some of my favorite pins are Artland pins. There's Belle, Ariel, Cinderella, Jasmine, and Moana. Here's some film strips from the movies. Right here we have Frankenweiner. And let's see, right here from Pinocchio, 80. Mulan, 145. $275 for the Happiest Celebration on Earth Castle. And it is a stunner. It's beautiful. And here are some of the stained glass castles. $150. Back there you have Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and Tinkerbell. It says it all started with, and then it says Walt. And that one's $75. Mm -hmm. Here is a very cool Haunted Mansion pin, $225. Here's a lounge fly pin. You have Aurora's dress in blue, and then you have Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, $75. $300 for this. Aurora pin, make it pink, make it blue. And then you have Prince Phila, and you have the dads, and you have Maleficent, and you have the dragon. You have Prince Phil fighting the dragon. This is such an amazing pin. $250 for the Arthur pin. He can pull the sword out of the stone. Definitely, no problem. This pin is $250, and it's rather small. It's Aurora and Prince Philip. $50 for this Roy Disney and Minnie statue pin. It says 20th anniversary cast member. So that's a cast member pin. The Crystal Palace pin. You have the Space Mountain pin. The Railroad pin. The Pirates of the Caribbean pin. And the Storybook pin. They're all $150 each. $70 for this Walt, Mickey, and Pluto pin. Another Walt pin here for $100. $115 for this Prince Philip pin. It is a stunner. Wow. And I do like the Snow White pin. It's 85th anniversary of Snow White. That is so pretty. I'm going to let you guys check some of these pins out real quick. I don't have to name everything. Just let you guys look. This one is beautiful. This one here is um, Jiminy Cricket with Blue Fairy. What a pretty pin. It's Easter season. Here's some of the Easter pins. Look how cute. Here's Pooh. And that's Chip and Dale. Look at how cute they are. Very cute. So this book is 140? 145. 145. Wow, it fits a lot of pins. A very, very cool Darkwing Duck pin, and it's pretty large for $65. Here's a Cinderella Coach pin with the driver, and Cinderella's in there, and then you have the horses. Look how cool this pin is. So let's take one big look around the store. Try not, get, not to get the people in the uh, video. Right here you have your backpacks up here. A lot of backpacks in the store too. But here are the folio books. They have smaller books. And then they have pin boards. So here are some of the colorful books. 
and pin boards. So here's the room full of pins, the pin gallery. And it looks like one of those um, boards that you slide that when you're buying posters, but they're filled with pins. Okay, my friends, Ricky and I are heading on out of here, but we had a lot of fun here at Pin HQ. We found so many pins we loved. We picked up one pin, it's Walt Disney, and we also picked up some pin boards. We plan on doing a little more shopping here at another time, but um, we are so happy that we found this place and we found this place through Sunkissed Chrissy. If you don't know Sunkiss Chrissy, check out her channel and look for Pin HQ and she'll tell you a little bit more about this place. But anyway, we will see you in the next video real soon. Bye everybody. Bye-bye.